Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're on S Motorsports. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you like the content. It really helps me out. So what I got for you today, we're gonna be installing a Mishimoto catch can. All right guys, so I chose a Mishimoto catch can a uh, few reasons. I, I like the integration where it mounts uh, to the strut brace or this brace and kind of positions the can. Um, I, I like that look better than maybe some of the other ones that, that put it in this location. Just I think it looks cleaner. Um, and obviously the reviews have been pretty good about the, the Mishimoto can. So uh, I wanted a closed system as well, one without a breather. Um, I think that is a better option. I did see something in terms of, you know, if you have a breather, I know on the Trans Am I have uh, breathers and you do get some oil mist that comes out of that. Granted, I just have breathers. I do have a PCV valve on that, but you still get uh, oil mist slightly out of the breather. So that's kind of why I went with this closed system uh, PCV valve. So, if I, I'll show you the components we got here, got them all laid out. I got this from Summit. Obviously I'll put the link in the description, but um, you know, the, the bracket to mount it, that was in its own box, packaged nice with bubble wrap. Um, we got the uh, formed hoses uh, with the connectors already on there. Then the little, little pieces um, uh, for the barb fittings for the hoses that go into the catch can. And the catch can is obviously, that was packaged really nice as well. That came in a, another box as well. So that was in its own box, uh, all nice and protected. So that looks good. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so I pre-assembled uh, the catch can, put the fittings in. Uh, they look the same to me, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Pre-assembled the bracket, kind of matched that up just so it's all ready to go. Um, one thing I did that this bottom section of the catch can was kind of difficult, difficult to take off. Um, I did get it off, and then um, what I did was put a little tiny bit of oil on the O-ring in here, um, which then allowed it to screw on a lot easier. Um, it was just kind of sticky, so um, got it all pre-assembled, got the hoses out. So now it's time to start disassembling the Camaro. All right guys, so I'm gonna loosen this bolt here that holds the strut tower brace to the firewall and then the other uh, bolts here that the catch can is in the uh, Wrong socket though. These are 13 millimeter. Okay, this is the 10 millimeter in here that you gotta take off. All right, well, I couldn't find any blue Loctite, so I'm just gonna put these in as is for now, and I'll have to throw some blue Loctite on it later. Just to make sure that uh, those don't come loose. So this hose with the bend is gonna go underneath. Thank 
All right guys, got her all installed. I mean, it looks factory, you know. The hoses, they, they line up good. Everything seemed to fit really nice. No issues. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? A pretty easy install. I know a lot of, uh, got a couple comments about that I needed a catch can right away. Um, as these direct injected engines don't have any fuel spraying on the back of the valve to help clean them off. So if we get any oil deposits, um, going into the engine, there's really nothing to, to clean it and they'll just build up. So pretty happy with the install. So I'm curious on how much oil I'm actually going to catch. Um, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll give an update on that as well. Um, from what I find, um, probably it's not going to be until next summer because I'm not going to be able to drive it very much, but, uh, hopefully going to take it out today for a spin as it is pretty nice. It's going to be like 60. So, um, obviously I probably won't get much oil on there just from one drive. So yeah, I'll, uh, update you guys, but hope you enjoyed the install. All right. Thanks for joining in guys. Uh, until next time.